the very first thing we're going to start with is um, a rhythm called the danson. Um, the danson is really uh, it's considered the national uh, what do you call it? the national music of uh, of Cuba. It's uh, formed in the late 1800s, and um, it's a it's a very um, simple rhythm. Uh, it's played on timbal, but when you're playing it on the drum set, it goes like this. Pattern. There's a couple things that are important about that that uh, you need to make sure you're playing correctly, and that's the clave. So everything it, it works itself uh, in, around clave. Whether you're a piano player, whether you're a trumpet player, whether you're a bass player, whether you're a singer, in Cuban music you have to be aware of the clave. Um, the clave is. They, does anybody not know what, what I mean when I'm talking about clave? Is anybody? No. Okay. Great. So clave is a five-note rhythm. There's two types of clave. There's what they call son clave and ruma clave. So it's a, if, you're, if you think about it as two measures, the first measure is going to have two hits on the two and the three. So if you're playing one, two, three, four, the first measure of the bar is going to be one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay? The second measure is going to have three hit, three notes. So again, key one, two, three, four. The second measure is going to be one, two, and three, four. So if you put those together, one, two, three, four, one, two, and three, four. One, two, three, four, one, two, and three, four. Now that is son clave. To change it to rumba clave, you simply push the last note on the four to the end of four. So it's one, two, three, four, one, two, and three, four, and one, two, three, four, one, two, and three, four, and. Sounds like a little bit, uh, almost an irrelevant thing, but it's actually quite important. Um, when you're playing uh, folkloric music such as rumba, you're going to use rumba clave. Um, in, in a more popular music, it can be either son or, or rumba clave. But the, the most important thing about that is the direction can flip. And you can play the three note part first. So it could be one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. And that's a very, very important concept because everything, everybody's parts, the congo, the bombo, the timbali, the drum set, the piano, the way the singer's gonna sing, everything is dictated by the direction of the clave. So it's, it's, it's really the fundamental rhythmic foundation for Cuban music. And for everything that we're gonna do here, it's gonna have, the clave is gonna play a part. So to give you an idea how that works, the rhythm that I demonstrated, the danson rhythm, is definitely in clave. So if I was playing it as I demonstrated originally, that and I flipped the pattern and started playing this if I flipped it and the song dictated that it was supposed to be two three I would start getting really angry looks from all the other musicians. It's similar to in a rock and roll setting, if instead of playing this, I start playing, you know, you're not gonna get many gigs doing that, right? It, it's just, ugh, it's irritating. So it's the same thing with, with, with Cuban music. The clave is very important. It, the, uh, the basic guideline to, to figuring out which way the direction of clave goes is in a very general way. The more syncopated part of a melody falls on the three side of a clave. So the same thing goes for a rhythm. So if there's more syncopation 
on one side of the melody than on the other, then that's going to be where the three side of the clave fits. 